driver who hit and killed Pinellas County Deputy Michael Magley will spend the next 35 years in prison. He changed his plea today to guilty. But before learning his sentence, he heard from that deputy's loved ones. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer live in the newsroom. Um, it, I'm sure that was a heartbreaking day in court. Had to be. Extremely emotional, Cynthia. There were a lot of tears in the courtroom. Deputy Michael Magley's mother described the last year and a half as a nightmare. His loved ones say his death has left this family broken. I didn't just lose Michael once. I lose him every day for a lifetime. That pain will haunt this mother for the rest of her life. And it hurts just as much now as it did 18 months ago when she lost her son, Pinellas Deputy Michael Magley. His life was dedicated to serving and helping people, and he was damn good at it. But his life was tragically cut short. By this man, Robert Hosaffel. Detectives say he was driving drunk and running from deputies when he crashed into Magley, who was out of his cruiser and placing stop sticks on the road. I'll sentence you to a total of 35 years. On Friday, Hosaffel changed his plea to guilty and accepted a 35-year prison sentence. During the hearing, Deputy Magley's widow spoke directly to her husband's killer. In some messed up way, I thank you for offering to do 35 years for sparing us a trial and having to see pictures and videos of Michael's final moments. Stephanie Magley's message focused as much on her husband as it did the two daughters he left behind. Our youngest was nine months old. She will grow up without a single memory of her father. You robbed these girls of their daddy kissing their boo-boos, teaching them to ride a bike, to drive a car, or to walk them down the aisle one day. Holzhaffel was given the chance to speak in court, but instead had his attorney do it for him. He's so very, very sorry for the incredible losses that he has caused. It's a loss that will forever hang over the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Magley was the department's first ever line of duty death. For us, this is the first, thankfully, and hopefully the last ever in the history of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. And it is something undoubtedly that we think about every single day. And it's a very, very tough situation, but this is justice. Justice for a family whose lives are forever broken by a man who should never have been behind the wheel. I hope you spend the next 35 years praying for forgiveness for God. That suspect also had 16 prior felony convictions on his record before that happened. Meanwhile, Deputy Magley was 30 years old when he died. Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says he was a hero. The sheriff says it's impossible to know how many others could have died had this drunk driver continued speeding down that road, Cynthia. It's just an awful, awful loss in so many ways. Thank you, Aaron.